All right, we are back. Starting off with Hot Meowth and Hyped. All right, let's look at the decks. Let's see what they got. Let's see. Hot Meowth has... It's red, black versus red, black. And then they're splashing one blue. Yo, Hyped has two LC and a Lich. Is it over? Is, this, oh, is, is Hype winning this is draft Hype tournament? winning this tournament? They don't do a redraft. This is it. Yeah, they don't do a redraft. I think someone in chat Ooh, asked earlier. Wait, why are you playing on the right, though? Hot wow. Meowth. Hot Meowth. He said in the tournament Discord that he needs a minute. He needed to take another minute there. Think about <laughs> that play, dude. Come on, Hot Meowth. You're better than this. Unless he wanted to do three damage to LC, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the rest of Hype's deck. It's uh, three black, two red. You know, I always get scared when I see a, a player deck list and draft this short. Like, if I can go through their deck list without scrolling at all, mm -hmm. item included, that's usually a sign that it's pretty good. Really good, actually. Yes. So let's take a look. Burning Oil, Poison Strike, whatever. Three Bronze Legionnaire. <laughs> Excellent stuff. This is basically a constructed three copy. Yes. Right here. Okay, six duels. I mean, you guys know. Two Assassin Apprentice. Eh, it's whatever. Under Artillery, top tier. <laughs> top tier. <laughs> Don't know about that one, but okay. All right, Crippler, eh, whatever. Uh, the two gold mines, you know, it's, it's nice. It's good. It has one payday. Yeah. yeah. So the economy, very good. Uh, six no accident from the double Debbie. You have one slay, sucker punch, three Oglody. Bruh. Three Oglody. Two man. two Tyler State Sensor, which he just played. Uh, one Red Mist, one Sister, three Ogre Conscripts, and Chain Frost. And Chain Frost. Okay, this is the best draft deck I've seen in this entire event. Yes, I think this is. His item deck could be a little better, I feel. He's got a blink. But he's got a blink. Yeah. <laughs> what else you but, want? But I mean, I mean, you know, for how much economy he could potentially have, I wish there was a, like one big item or sure, sure. or I don't know, two hammers, you know, two red mist walls, I mean, you know, that kind of thing. I would target him. Yeah. I would kill that guy. Kill that guy. Real fast. Yeah. You can no accident, no you can't. Everyone's dead. But he will die. Man, this deck is insane. What is Hot Meowth working with? Does he got some right. stuff? Hot Meowth. Same. One copy of each. Burning Oil and Poison Strike. Grazing. Trebuchet. Oh, Trebuchet. This might be the game. You got it early. You played on lane 2 already. Yeah. Maximum value. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. That's 2 damage already. Got him. Let's count how much it does, okay, at the end. So this is... 5% already. Alright. Oh, his heroes are Beastmaster and Sven. They're not that great. But he picks up a Redman Small. Early red mist. Early line. red mist. Yo, you just double up. You put red mist and beastmaster in that lane. You never need. You never it. need to go again. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Good okay, stuff. let's look at the rest of his lane. Three apprentice got a catapult. Pick a fight. Untested. Three cripplers. All right, you know, just just reaching up to this point, I'm already feeling like that 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 card quality is a little weaker. You have one smash. You know, Ogre, very nice. He's got three portal, though. Three portal? No, that's... He's got one Annihilation, too. You know what? Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, I take it back. You I know. say the card quality is still way better in yes. Hype Side. Uh, but, this, but this is, you know, it's it's doable. Like, this is a good deck. I think it's good. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's good. Like, three three D portals. You have an Ogre. You have a Beastmaster. Uh, Sorla. Like, your heroes are good. I think in this matchup for Hot Meowth, he needs to find a health item for Ogre. Yeah. Because the chances are for your Ogre to get dueled and killed immediately is extremely high. Yeah. So, get that leather armor out there, man. It actually helps a lot. It helps a lot. Okay, so where did he drop the Ignite? Because there is a demagic in one. He, he dropped it uh, in the last lane. Ooh, get demagicked. Get demagicked right out. Yeah, there's actually nothing in Hot Meowth's hand to stop this. He does redirect and take out one Tyler, so he gets a little bit of mana back. Kind of funny to see a, a three mana tower at turn f at five mana. Oh man, no respect for the catapult. He's like, yeah, yeah, you got this. Look at this hand. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. Goodbye, Ignite. It was nice knowing. Yep. That's all you get. Yeah, he might actually, uh, I mean, the crazy thing is, there'd be no accidents here. Oh! Oh, he passes. Okay, he's gonna heal. Okay, if you see... Dude, if you see that healed, you red mist. Huh? If you see that heal, do you red mist? He's gonna pass. Okay, never mind. Because I was just gonna say, like, if you if you see the heal, right, it might feel like it's a duel. Because mm. they would keep him alive. Ah, uh, I see. Are you, right, you thinking... Man, your brain is on today. I'm not used to this. What are you talking why, about? Why did he not go for... Uh, the, the, the no accident? Yeah, no I accident. Actually, well. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, that seems like a good play. Because like, I'm like looking at his hand, right? And there's nothing uh, nothing you're passing for. There's no real big initiative play. Also, there was an interesting choice of... Once you see that um, dematching him all equipped, you could also throw down the ladder in the same lane to take a 50-50. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's also that's somewhat questionable. Yeah, I agree. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think you want to play the ladders uh, with a deck like this. Whenever I play blue with Sorlacon, and I have a bunch of dimensional portals, I never like to play ladders until I know I have dimensional portals in hand. Sure. Because you can push so much damage by D portal laddering. Oh, ogre dead. No, he has a cloak. Still dead, but you know, he's got a cloak. You, I think you should cl still cloak anyways. Actually, it's a it's a it's a type, it's it's, it's a it's a tough call. Cause like cloak would save you now in other lanes, but putting it on your ogre is really nice. I think you just cloak the other other lane, because you're gonna get more gold now. You're gonna at least get one hero kill. The chances of you finding a cloak is quite high. I just don't like this deploy because. Hot Meowth is going to have a lot of his hero killed, and he won't have any hero in the first lane for two turns. Mm -hmm. And he's going to get a super beatdown delivered to him. Yeah. And we're getting a Chain Frost turn. Like, this is. We got issues. I, I mean, we already kind of said Hype's deck is kind of insane. Yes. And, uh, and the crazy thing about his deck is, like,. If you uh, if you leave him alone in a lane, it's just like you're gonna lose your tower so fast. He's gonna TP out one Demi. Why do you think that is? Is this to guarantee that he has Chain Frost here? Yes, he wants to have a Chain Frost in all lanes, yeah. most likely, uh, or or rather, he probably wants it in this lane because I think he realizes there's no way he can save his Lich. Maybe not no way. Um, you can duel mm -hmm. here, but you end up losing your LC, which he doesn't want happening. He would rather trade and then redeploy Debbie in here. Sure. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. That was also an int interesting choice where he played the Oglody Vandal after the TP to trade with the creep. To trade with the creep, yeah. Instead of getting the direct damage. I think Hype understands that his deck is so much superior that going long actually favors him, even though he's technically an aggro deck. I personally would have went face for, for more damage, but... He's opting for. Oof. Well, that was good. Yeah. This is really good for Hot Meowth. And Hot Meowth could even kill with the Red Mist Small. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the one lane that he's doing relatively well in. Yeah. And I think you definitely play it here. Now, Hype might just go for the no accident on the creep after the mall. He's gonna go for it now. He's gonna, he's gonna go for the double. And that's extremely telegraph, right? So if you're Hot Meowth, you just slap the cloak on uh, onto the Debbie. I hope. Can you look at the last lane? I think he's thinking about if he wants to cloak here or cloak last lane. Cloaking last lane would save Vistorla, assuming there's no duel, but there is a duel. Whereas he knows that there's a second no accident in hand, because there's no way you no accident like that. This... Forces out the second no accident or the at least the short sword. And short sword is gonna come out, and then the maul is gonna come out. Do you slay? A oh, three you one would, three. You would know. You know, no accident. The creep. I think. No, actually. 
I feel like you don't cast anything anymore. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's to ensure Chain Frost just kills everything. Mm, that's a good point, actually. But, like, the chances of him killing everything is already so high, so that, that's why I'm a little surprised. Okay. Alright, Hot Meowth has lost four heroes this turn. Yep. Oh, actually, I guess to be fair, both sides have lost everything, but... That's a blink in the that's side That's a shot. blink in the side shot. Okay, Hyped is going to buy down, and then this is where you buy off the side shot, right? Yes. And then to buy TP. Yep. This is a high-quality deck. Man, what a feeling. Buying blink from the side shop and still holding onto your blink. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to see Chain Frost. Uh, going to see a Slay here, most likely. I mean, actually, you, you might even consider holding on to Slay. You can double no accident or something. Uh, he might be actually, just passing for initiative if he is afraid of. Yeah, he might be afraid. Yeah. I don't know what he's afraid of. Yeah, he's not facing him, so it is a little surprising. Oh, he wants to save his chain frost. Yeah, you don't even need chain frost. I mean, now you can go mine. Yeah. So that's even better. Or you can slay for nine damage. You can actually go mine and blink to the last lane. He is taking a lot of damage though, so I don't know. Keep in mind that trebuchet. How long? How long? It's, it's been here since turn two. Yes, I already lost track of how much damage it did. This is turn four, so you used three times, so it did six damage. You like that process of elimination that I did there? What if you were wrong, though? I'm not wrong. What if Ever. you were wrong? Oh, I need to tweet out that real man one. You gotta... You gotta... You gotta man, this, you tweet, gotta... this Twitter business is super hard. Tweeter. Tweeter. Alright, Debbie is gonna come down here. Does have the cloak, so... Doesn't die immediately to the, uh, to the duel, but there are two Blink Daggers in hand, so... Hype doesn't have initiative. Uh, that means his Debbie is probably going to get dunked. Alright. So, apparently Unscathed's Twitter is at sad unscathed. Bro, why are you, why, yeah, sad? why are you sad, bro? Why is that? Be happy. Why is that happy unscathed? Tree buckets. No, Congrats it's tree, tree buckets. To sad unscathed. Wait, why is it con con? I thought unscathed lost to life coach. Real man. Yeah. Man, almost congrats the wrong person, bro. Jesus. That would be awkward. Jesus. I never thought I'd fight alongside in a All right. No slay in hand. This ogre is going to chunk. Potion of knowledge. Ready for war. Okay. He can actually duel here. Does he even want to duel here, though? I think you just put on an item and uh, kill. Yeah. And then you just call it. I'd like to point out that Hot Meowth has still yet to play his Red Mist Small. That's a lot of damage missing out or missed out. Would he actually ever yeah. see him? Because I remember the Beastmaster was going straight to the face. Straight to the face, that's true. Well, that w that's, I guess, two damage. Technically, it's two damage, yeah. That's another tree bucket shot. It's paying off. Hot Meowth doesn't actually have any play in hand except for improvements. Alright, Red Mist Wall comes out. This plays against the duel, but... Ooh. Chain Frost? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. You can't hope to beat me. Alright. Excuse me, hit for 10. And then, uh, Chain Frost! Okay. 
Yeah, that, uh... That actually might be game. It is game. Yeah, because he only has one hero deploying. He's actually losing on every single yeah, lane. Yeah, he's actually losing every single lane right now. He's going to take 13 here. So this tower is guaranteed dead. You're not going to want to fight here with Beastmaster. So where where do you go for the best odds? To not die? To not die. It has to. It's dependent on the creep spawn, right? So I think you go here. Yeah. Oh, he has a second room as well. What are you talking about? He has oh, already oh. put on the Beastmaster. Oh, okay, you're right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, he, he used it the, in the previous turn to kill the... I think a Legion commander or something. Oh, right. I mean, it turns out that, you know, Hype still has Slay in hand and... Oh, casual Wingfall Hammer. That's cool. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna see the Hellbear Crippler and Wingfall Hammer. Actually, if you, you know, it's game. actually really rare that you see a, a weapon that has more than two damage. You know, because everything just does two damage. Like, think about it. Play more? No, but like no one ever plays Blossom. it, right? Oh, People are always yeah, playing short sword. They're always playing red miss mall. Blanks, guns, yeah. Yeah, everything is just two. Yeah. So like he actually wouldn't have lost the first tower, but for some reason hype managed to pick up wingfall hammer. Oh, what do you mean some reason? He had twenty five goals, so like. <laughs> yeah, but it could have been anything. <laughs> it could have been anything on the side job. All right, he uh, he just quit out before even seeing the wingfall. Yeah, hammer. I mean he knew, he knew. So, the key thing in this matchup. Gonna point it out is uh, ogre drawing, ogre casting dimensional portal. Yeah. So he has one in hand. Game saved. Also, are you surprised by the fact that it's a deputy deploy and not a solo deploy, or vice or versa? Vice versa, yeah. I I am actually a little surprised by that. That be hits harder, and solo you can control where she hits. Yeah. G generally, I would go. I would do it the other way around as well. I don't, I don't know. I feel like Hobmeoth might have to play a little more, like, r way more aggressively. I'm ready to prove myself. What do you think about I this? Instead of playing the gold mark. Trading two for one? I, I'm okay with this. Okay. This makes it so that your Debbie can go into the last lane now. Without any worry. Yeah, buy all the cloaks. Cloaks super important in this matchup. Yeah. Um, although there was an argument to buy the healing self in lane one. Mm-hmm. For the Beastmaster to win the trade. I will leave you. You're going to take my chair. It's time to swap. I'm going to swap. In okay. See you in two hours. See you in two minutes. Man, look at all the hot fire in Hype's hand. Man, I wish I get draft decks like this. Hype will pick up a Traveler's Cloak to save his Legion commander. The Bronze Legion stands united. By the way, with all of these trading, it heavily favors Hot Meow, in my opinion. Sorry, uh, favors Hype. Again, Hype's got a better deck. So, as the game goes on longer and longer, he is going to draw more Chain Frost. And Chain Frost is the true breaker of this matchup. He's also going to see more cards with things like, you know, Lich and whatnot. With that said, though, like, Hot Meow does some, have some really good stuff, like... Annihilation, Primal Roars, in the late game. But I think the battle for initiative is going to be tough. That was a payday for 9, I believe. God, I love money. The red list is here. Man, Hype is just playing like high tier cards every single lane. This deck is crazy. That is a red miss small, but he does not buy it. He's gonna look for a card. Okay. So the position of this ogre is extremely, extremely important. If he goes in the first lane, he needs to play the Traveler's Cloak first to respect duel. Looks like he's gonna go in the last lane instead though. Fortunately for Solar Khan, she will not be hitting the tower. I think what we might see out of this deploy is actually Sorla Khan casting Ladder to the far right and then Hot Meowth playing Dimensional Portal. Did I hear Ladder D Portal? Yes, you did. That is a possibility. Alright, Hype spend his 25 gold to go ham. Holy crap, he has 25 gold? 
he he payday, and then he went up to twenty five. Jesus. At least uh, the good thing is that his item deck is in stellar. That's the one air quote weakness of the deck. Yeah. I don't even know if that's weakness because you're consistently buying like good items. Yeah. Face boot cloak and it just helps you snowball. Yes. Yeah. Someone someone didn't agree with us that his item deck is was not good. Like I think you're misinterpreting the our our our, our I guess our what what how do you put it? Like our definition of a good item deck when it comes to um, payday and uh, gold mines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like don't get us wrong; these are really good items. Mm -hmm. But when you play payday and gold mines, what we mean by a good item deck is you want to have something that's like game winning. Yes, that's that's a good item deck when it comes to uh, something like a payday combo. Because imagine if we had a Horn of the Alpha. He could have just won right there. Yeah, for the game's just right. over. Yeah. Um, so what we saw was he laddered to the far right, and then Hype recognizing that, hey, you don't have any mana uh, to do anything anymore, so he just developed a... Red Mist. A free Red Mist. Yeah, and that's extremely scary, because Red Mist is extremely powerful, and not only that, it's in the first lane. So. Yep. Meanwhile, Hype has about 25 answers to this, so... He's just... gonna no accident too. Yeah, you no accident. Oh, the right lane is going pretty well for Hamiyaf. Oh, that's even better. Even better. Kill everything. This is actually so brutal. Yeah. The the nice thing about going back to the item deck discussion is that this is a hero killer deck, among other things for hyped. Mm -hmm. So. Let's show them what we can do. Sounds good to me. First lane. Kind of has to. Yeah, he wants to play Porto, but he can't because yeah. of the pressure. Yeah, so this is a the hero killer deck, and hero killer deck benefits really nicely from cheap items like cloaks and face boots and stuff yeah. like that. It's just a, a big snowball effect. Yeah, yeah. But it, I, I I would still like to uh, see like a big item held or in the deck. Yes. So if he passes by a big item, he should always hold it because after the snowballing phase. Reaching 25 gold is actually not that hard because he's going to keep killing stuff. Yeah, the initiative for the last lane is going to be super important because it's the difference between you pushing for like 12 damage with Dimensional Portal versus you getting pushed for 12 damage. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a big swing. Okay, Ignite's going to pick off Debbie. That's going to be great. Fortunately, these uh, Red Mists are looking pretty good right now. For Fami yeah. Alters. I mean, they're going to multiply again. They're going to multiply again, but they're going to die on upkeep next time. Maybe healing style point. That'd be kind of funny. Okay. Oh, got him. Not multiplying. Only one multiplying. Yeah. So it's effectively dealt with. Wait, hold on. There's hold, a up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> There's a demagic in wall. Hold up. Yikes. I like the patience there by Hype, because there was a small chance that it would have landed in front. Yeah. Oh, he just is, has everything. Yeah, he really does. This is this is rough. Not a happy time. So we're, we are going to see the, uh, the, uh, yeah, the develop, but next turn is Roar. He can completely stop it and help help uh, help hype develop it in a different lane. <laughs> just Roar. <laughs> I wonder if he just plays nothing here, let his hero die and cast Portal. Because with six step or six copies of No Accident. You know that your opponent likely has one in hand. Yeah. But he's also facing so much pressure that he might be forced into playing something. Oh, okay. How do you feel about that? That is probably something that's necessary but feels really bad. Do you think he's going to fight for this lane then? Even though it has... F I don't think so. I don't think he has the resources to do so. He's going to die in other lanes if he, if he tries. I feel like... Regardless of what he does, the game might be over already. Cause, cause yeah, cause like the problem is, not o he's losing every single lane, and he doesn't know this yet. But since we can see hype's hand, he's also gonna be dealing with chain frost next turn. And yeah, I think no accident here would be pretty good. You save your no. I think he pass. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh okay. He's gonna he's gonna draw. Okay. 
I'm surprised he didn't pass and just no accident the ogre. But <laughs> hype is like, yeah, I'm just gonna overwhelm you. Yeah, these. he's just doing whatever he wants right now. So this is a still. I mean, this is perfectly fine, right? You don't kill the ogre, but you're still winning the second lane, right? Yeah. Like you're you're just kind of like telling yourself, I don't really care what you're doing here. Well, he's still gonna kill the ogre. Yes, he's still gonna kill the but ogre. But at least the portal comes down. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, you know, since you can't kill the Debbie, uh, multi gas. So I think that there was a big item like Vesture or Horn on the side shop earlier. I wonder if Hot Meowth held it. Uh, it was Horn. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'm going to go ahead and guess that he didn't. I hope he did. He's but a bit... He's still a bit off. He's a bit off. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, he can oh, support he it out. out. That's good. Yeah. Hype could play on Supervised now. <laughs> play on... Oh, no, no, you can't. You can't. Sorry. You can play on lane 1. You can play on lane 1. You can play on lane 2. I'd probably play on lane 2, actually. He's going to keep initiative. I like this. He, oh, held, he it. held it. He held it. You hold, hold it again. again. Yeah. Hold it again. Okay, okay. Now, this is playing the win. Yes. He oh. understands that he his deck is not nearly as good, but he needs to find something that he can win him the game. And this is it. I like it. I so, like it a lot. Oh, he is fighting the first lane? I think... Do you give up... Middle, I think, and you fight first and last. I mean, if you're gonna do this, don't you deploy something into the last lane? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't. Well, he hasn't decided yet. He might be moving. The reason that I think you give up middle, despite the fact that it has 31 health, is that there isn't a black hero there, so you don't have to deal with chain frost. Here, you're here. You're gonna get chain frost out of the game, I think. Mm -hmm. Depends if there's gonna be a dual top deck hype. Has six copy in the deck. I don't think he has to cast a single one so far. Initiative is going to be really important. Um, I mean, you just do the red, right? Or, yeah, this, not red. Alright, you don't have to do anything here then. At least in the middle lane. Uh, where's the Sven in the middle lane? That's a good roar. That's a good roar, yeah. You are going to push for quite a bit of damage. The, I mean, the, the scary thing is, though, he's going to lose this first tower right here, right? Yeah. And if he roars in the middle lane... There's a chance they go right, and then that could be very problematic because the chain frost can just. Well, Debbie's already here to chain frost, yeah. anyways. That's true. I think Hype is actually thinking about blinking out. Because mm. yeah, so that makes me think that he is gonna blink out. Nope. He's gonna blink out, but I see. He yeah, he doesn't know what. He wants to secure has. the. Uh... Yeah, he wants to secure the lane first. And this is actually really good because uh, this means the red mist is still going. Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's actually kind of that's actually a very big problem. And there's no ignite to save you because ogre is dead for two turns. I was trained by the best. Okay. He might actually recognize. Okay, no. I was gonna say he might actually recognize the potential roar mid, and then go mid. I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares though. Yeah, because he already took one lane, right? He just needs to win one more. So he's just gonna be like. Okay, if I get roared here, I'll win the last lane. If, I, if you don't roar, I'll win, this I, lane. I'll win this lane. I'll chain frost you. Yeah. Okay, roar comes out. Okay, that's actually good. That's good. That's for hyped or for for hot meowth. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's the best case scenario for him. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel good though. So you just chain frost. You just chain frost here. A lot of two health creeps. This actually, might... you would short sword first and then you chain frost. Because then they just end the turn with initiative, going back to lane one. Oh, didn't bounce left, but good enough. Towers at four, I Towers guess. Towers at four. Oglody, unsupervised artillery, and he's short two oh, gold. Oh, he doesn't even have enough. Oh, he tried. He tried so hard. Yeah. Did not come close, but did not. Come close. <laughs> he tried so hard. <laughs> O2. Wasn't close though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I don't even blame him. Like I, I I honestly can't really find many faults in his play. Like I think Han Miao, apart from the one untested grunt play, didn't exactly make that many mistakes. It's just kinda shows you how insane Hype's deck is, really. Yeah. I mean seeing Hype's deck makes me 
think that torn draft tournaments needs to have redraft a top eight? Yes, I because I believe so. Because I mean, all it takes is one person to draw to draft an insane deck. Yeah, and this could have been anybody. Yeah, this could have been anybody. Yeah. I agree. Like even Aeosin could have won this tournament if with a deck I like agree. this. I agree. I agree. I <laughs> agree. Uh, I don't know why I keep dumping you under the bus, but. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Easy target. It's uh, it's funny, and people know it ain't true because they, they know I'm like, they know I'm a god. Okay. They might be wondering if he's so good though. Why is he never in these tournaments? I think it's to give these players a chance. Yeah. Honestly. It's a mystery to all of us. Why am I not being being invited? <laughs> how how do I change? Is it live action? No. What do you mean? How do I change the title? So you see this little button? Skip here. alert. No, 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 on the right. What do you mean skip alert? This little pencil thing. This is edit. I couldn't edit it earlier, though. Let me try again. Yeah. Okay, so up next we got Nemphy. Nemphy versus Freddy Bates. Okay, and then you hit update. And it's going to say error. Oh, it worked for you. All right, never mind. Oh, actually, I know why there was an error. Because it wasn't meeting it. That's no, I actually have no idea. Hey, we're improving. You see that? Down to 35%. Alright, we are going to take a break. We're going to wait for Nemphy versus Freddy coming up after this. See you in a bit.